Yeah. What if there's literally like no way to believe in? You know what I've always found to be like an entertaining idea. So many religions have this idea where um, not only will you go to hell for not believing in the right God, but that there are things that Satan or the equivalency of Satan in whatever religion you have, there are things that, that Satan places on the planet to trick you. So that's the common uh, response from, let's say, fundamentalist Christians when they're confronted about something like, thank you, Antifa Cat Boy, when they're confronted about something like um, dinosaur fossils. That will be an argument that uh, fundamentalist Christians bring up as they will say, no, Satan, Satan put those there to test your faith. So, so many religions actively promote this idea that not only will you go to hell if you don't believe in the right religion, but there are tricks that Satan or whoever else is putting the, there for you, whether it's like the temptation of sin where it's like, oh, gay sex feels so good and Satan put it there to trick you, to make you be like, oh, this is what, blah, 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 blah. And none of them have acknowledged that like, okay, well, let's say if you believe in a God where there's tricks being placed somewhere and you have to ignore, you have to ignore the tricks, wouldn't the most obvious trick be the Bible? Wouldn't that be one? What if Satan put the Bible, what if Satan put the King's James Bible king james bible on planet earth to trick you into believing in the wrong god right what if what if at what if when we all die what if at the end we all survive our own deaths right and you don't just cease to exist because your uh, brain is made up of physical properties that turn into something else um let's let's assume we survive our own deaths and after we die what if what if the the passing test of getting into heaven was not falling for organized religion? What if that's the test? What if there is a god or god equivalency that when you die they say, "Oh, okay, you're you're actually not thank thank you for not falling for for uh, evangelical Christianity." Like why not? That makes just as much sense. Because that's what they believe. Just a, you're, they're using a different substitute for like what the Bible is or what Satan's tricks are, right? They're just switching around what's a trick and what's not a trick. It's no different. So yeah, like fuck it. Like what if what if you get rewarded for not believing in a god? What if that's the trick? Wouldn't that be like the ultimate test to like stick to your convictions? And not get attempted, uh, or not get tempted by, uh, you know, your emotions and being afraid of, like, experiencing death and not surviving your own death. Um, you know, being afraid of, you know, because fear drives so many people. Like, there, there are people on their death deathbeds that, um, would convert to any religion or, you know, the idea of a a god is like very tempting it's very comforting you know like that's a temptation like that's the ultimate temptation if we're going to talk about sin being a temptation and like a trick by satan the ultimate temptation for me would be to like believe in a god because that would that would make me feel so much more comfortable about existence and um purpose and reality and um you know the idea of uh yeah, I did interview Kenny Hotz at one point. The idea of feeling like things are under control and that the universe isn't like inherently chaotic. Um, right? That's that's the ultimate temptation for me. I'm even like particularly susceptible to it. I feel like the physical, like warm comfort from that idea, like that sort of thing where someone would say like, that's Jesus touching your shoulder. Or like that's Jesus warming your heart. Like if if I'm in a situation, I have been before, where like some random person at like a like a the LRT station at Edmonton would be like, "Can I pray for you?" And they're obviously just trying to convert me or whatever. But I feel that like warmth, you know, that like physical warmth from the idea of that, you know. Um, and part of what made me stop believing in god was realizing and recognizing that that feeling doesn't necessarily come from religious belief 
um there was like a night when i was 13 and i was like i'm gonna pray to my pillow and see if i get the same results and i did and i I don't mean results as in the outcomes of what i prayed for because when i was 13 the, the what i was praying for was essentially just please don't let there be a killer that's going to come in my room and murder me tonight. Cause I was just paranoid about that shit for some reason. And there never was. So the res- that result was the same, but the the comfort that I felt, the comfort that I felt of just being like, just saying that in my head. And then that certainty, um, that reassurance of just like, Oh, it is okay. You know, a lot of people get that from prayer by praying to a God. I, I did that for a while when, you know, I used to be Christian because I was raised that way. Thanks, mom and dad. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd, one day I was just like, okay, I'm going to pray to the this pillow instead. And it was all, it, it was the exact same. And I realized I didn't really need um, a God for that. It was just a human mental uh, illusion a that we're all kind of susceptible to. Um That's why there's so many different religions. That's why everybody's certain that theirs is the right one. Um, how did we get on this topic? Yeah, the fast the fastest growing religious affiliation is none. <laughs> I talked about death. Oh yeah, how oh, we're all gonna die. Yeah, somebody asked me about Pascal's wager. Yeah, so I. I think Pascal's wager doesn't really uh, provide any uh, incentive to change your lifestyle. I think that the community aspect of religion, whether it be like a local community church or something, that can be really helpful for someone's mental health. But now, especially with the internet, there are other communities you can join. Um, You can join the furry community. Any community that makes you feel like more like yourself and accepts you for who you are and you don't have to hide yourself around. Unironically. You know, fuck, furry conventions should be exempt from taxes then. From the, for the same argument, if you're going to not tax the church, then don't fucking tax furry conventions, you pigs. Legit. That's the one thing, that's, yeah, that... That's going to keep me criticizing religion is the fact that churches aren't taxed. I'm going to be a edgy atheist forever until taxes are or until taxes are churched. I will be edgy atheist forever until the taxes are churched. Also, also last thing to throw out here. I think that uh the threshold for what someone calls edgy atheism is literally just starts at someone saying that they don't believe in religion i think that that's the threshold that people have uh decided <laughs> at this point where we where once again we give uh religion special treatment because if you criticize religion apparently that's you know you can't you, you can't really do that <laughs> uh in the same way that you would be able to about uh, i don't know a political perspective or you know any other sort of philosophical perspective uh you know if you if you do if you do if you criticize the religion and not any other perspective it's uh you're edgy atheist you tip fedora meme um there's barely any fucking threshold for that so i would just say you know don't be ashamed there's plenty of reasons to dislike organized religion uh plenty of legitimate valid reasons don't let fun, don't let so people uh fun. trick you into thinking otherwise or don't let people shame you into being less open about it is what i would say Have fun. hey guys it's january 2022 so let's update these patreon credits lemonade warrior is participating in the hit video game among us and is considered the encroacher Big Well from Robots Animated Movie, Andre Philippe, Butt Rock, Charisma, The Super One Player, Dwyer Tarantino, Jacob Arndt, Zachary Kane, Sam Joel, Cheat.exe, Gothic Sith, Mandel Bro, Kel Hunt, Wales, Bo the Doggo, Kai Butcher, Gabriel Herrera, 
Splat, Hoofy Doe, Ocean Machinery, and Malav Shah. Have a happy new year, everyone.